first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number three on the topic income expenditure data interpretation so now we are going to solve set number two so before watching this lesson number three don't forget to watch the previous two lessons because lesson number one where i have told you what is called as income and expenditure data interpretation and we have learned all the different kinds of formula as well as i have explained you what are all the different example questions which area this income expenditure data interpretation concepts will be more asked in your competitive exams so those are the steps we have seen in lesson number one and in the previous lesson that is in lesson number two we have solved the set number one data interpretation that is based on income value and expenditure value given in the chart so based upon the income expenditure value and uh, it was like only one sorry five companies income expenditure of five company but only one year that is 2018 but here look at this set number two data interpretation so here you can able to see income value has not given expenditure value has not given they have given two values that is profit percentage of company A and profit percentage of company B of 5 years. Understood or not? So previous set number 1 we have seen by giving income value and expenditure value how to find the profit percentage. But here in this question what we are going to learn is by uh, having the values of profit percentage and loss percentage how to find the income and expenditure. So very interesting. Don't forget to watch previous two lessons because without watching previous two lessons, you can't able to understand anything here. Got it? But all the formulas, whatever be, but the formulas are same what we learned in lesson number one. What is the formulas that we learned in lesson number one? So profit is equals to income minus expenditure. So this is the first formula we learned. Yes. So second formula will be profit percentage. So profit percentage is equal to income minus expenditure divided by expenditure into 100. So if you are getting a value in positive, then it is called as a profit percentage. If you are getting a value in negative, then it is called as a loss percentage. So from this formula, we know that just see here, income minus expenditure is what? Only income minus expenditure is what? Profit. So this same formula can be written in this way. So profit percentage is equal to so profit by expenditure into 100 understood or not we can able to derive many formulas from this single expression got it understood or not if you need to find the income what you can do is profit percentage into expenditure plus expenditure divided by 100 resultant will be the income understood or not so there are many different formulas that you can derive from this only one expression but this expression will be directly given in the chart itself. If you want, you can buy at it or else without by adding in all the data interpretation that is based on income expenditure, they will give you this formula and this formula here. Understood? So I think this is enough. This is more than enough. Uh, we can start solving a question. Four to, I think three to four question is enough to understand the concepts. So let me solve all the question that is based on income expenditure DI by only giving the profit percentage and loss percentage of a company. So now let me move on to all the three to four questions. Question number one. So look at the chart carefully and they are talking about two companies A and B. So A and B where the profit percentage as well as a loss percentage of a company has been given. Understood. So first question the expenditure of A in 2008 and 2010 are 55 lakh and 35 lakh respectively. So what is the profit of company A in the year 2008 and 2010 together? So friends, just see here, in the chart they have given profit percentage and loss percentage. In the first question, they have given the expenditure value. So our target is to find how much profit, not the profit percentage, how much profit the company A got in the year 2008 and 2010. So this is our target, right? So what we can do here is we know the formulas, right? We know the formulas and how to substitute it and how to find the answer. But be very careful while substituting the values in a formula, right? So just see here expenditure of the first company that is company A in the year 2008 has been given how much? 55 lakh, right? So similarly expenditure of company A in the year 2010 has been given that is 35 lakh. So two expenditure value has been given. So first what we can do is we can take the year 2008. We can find what is the profit of the company in the year 2008. So what is the formula that we learnt is 
profit just see the formula here listen carefully so profit percentage is equal to income minus expenditure divided by expenditure into 100 yes or no and i have write another formula income minus expenditure can be written as profit divided by expenditure into 100 is yes or no right so profit by expenditure into 100 so now what is our target our target is to find only the profit so keep the profit as it is so bring all the remaining values towards left hand side so profit percentage into expenditure divided by 100 understood or not right so this is the formula what i told you now initially of the initial stage of the video so here our target is to find only the profit so profit is equal to profit percentage into expenditure divided by 100 so all the values they have given in the question itself so profit percentage in the year 2008 according to the chart value so company a profit percentage in 2008 is how much 24 percentage so we can say that profit is equals to first 2008 i'm saying right 2008 so profit percentage is 24 percentage into expenditure so expenditure is how much 55 lakh divided by 100 got it so if you find the answer for this value resultant will be profit of company a in the year 2008 so similarly our target is to find the profit of company a in the year 2010 got it so what is the formula here profit percentage so look at the chart so profit percentage in the year 2010 is how much 48 percentage so 48 into expenditure so expenditure in 2010 is how much 35 lakh so 35 lakh divided by 100 got it or not so now what we can do here is we can find 11 times here so cancel it 20 times here and you cancel this on five tables so when you cancel this on the two table this becomes 10 times so this becomes 12 times so this will be 1.2 so 1.2 into 11 will be uh, 13 point 2 is yes. so our target is to find what what is the profit of both the years together we need to find both the years together is how much so this will be 13 point 2 so 13 point 2 we know that all the values are in terms of lakhs right so 13 point 2 lakh will be the profit of company a in the year 2008 so next we need to find in 2010 is how much so 2010 i think again we can cancel this on five table so this becomes 20 so cancel this on 5 table 7 5 is 35 so again cancel it on this becomes 10 times so this becomes 24 which is 2.4 so 7 4 is 28 14 16.8 so 16.8 lakh will be the profit of the company in 2010 so our target is to find together right 2008 and 2010 so 13.2 and 16.8 resultant will be 30 lakh right so 678s 30 lakh so total will be 30 lakhs that's it so this will be the answer for question number one right so remember one thing even if you make mistakes while calculation right this cancellation part it's okay right you can learn that but without knowing the concept itself you can't able to solve the question even though you make mistakes while subtraction addition division don't worry about that while practicing you can automatically correct you can correct all those stuff but the concepts are more important right how i derive this formula how i substituted the value and then how i derive to find the answer so those concepts basics are important so try to learn that basics properly so that you can able to crack all the questions so friends understood or not by using that formula profit percentage is equal to income minus expenditure divided by expenditure into 100 from that formula we already know that how to write this so after writing this according to the question they have given the expenditure value they have given the profit percentage our target is to find only the profit so keeping only the profit towards in the left hand side by moving all the values towards right hand side and we derived a formula profit percentage into expenditure divided by 100 so substituting all the values by seeing the chart and the values they have given in the question so after that we found the profit of two companies so answer for question number one will be 30 lakhs question number two so what is the percentage increase in the percentage profit of company a from the year 2008 to 2009 so it's a very simple question and easy question but remember that most of the students will make a mistake that which value to be written in the denominator and which value to be written in the numerator so because of that where many students will still making the mistakes here just listen carefully what is the target our target is to find 
how much percentage increase right how much percentage increase in the profit percentage from the year 2008 to 2009 just listen here from the year 2008 our target is to find how much percentage increase in the year 2009 so from which year they are asking we need to compare that right from that year we need to compare how much percentage increase always remember that which year we are going to compare should always comes in the denominator understood or not from which year to which year so from which year according to the question from 2008 to 2009 so always remember that the denominator value should be 2008 understood or not so numerator is just a difference we know that our target is to find how much percentage that is profit percentage increase from 2008 to 2009 so according to the chart where 2008 is how much 24 percentage 2009 is how much 32 percentage so how much increase 8 percentage increase so the numerator value will be 8 and the denominator 2008 so 2008 is how much 24 into 100 so friends understood or not how I wrote this so most important step many students will write the numerator value correctly but the denominator value they what they usually do is they don't know whether I should put 24 or 32 so this was the mistake where still many students are making it always remember that if we need to compare how much percentage increase or percentage decrease whatever be from which year to which year we are our target is to compare so from 2008 from 2008 our target is to find what is the percentage increase in 2009 so from 2008 our target is to compare from the year 2008 so that 2008 should comes in the denominator understood or not so when you cancel this this will be 3 so 100 by 3 will be 33.333 percentage right so we can say that approximately 33 percentage increase of profit percentage from the year 2008 to 2009 understood or not in many data interpretation question even not in this all uh, this uh, income expenditure concept alone in many data interpretation while teaching that in my youtube channel i have said this always which year or which person you are going to compare that person or that year should comes in the denominator understood or not so never make this mistake so answer for question number two will be 33 percentage so here the question is very small answer is easy but the concept is most important understood question number three so income of a in 2007 and 2011 are equal and there are 84 lakhs each so what is the difference between expenditure of company a in the year 2011 and 2007 so when just see here by giving the income value so income of the company a in two years that is in 2007 and 2011 are equal so this means that income of company a in the year 2007 is how much 84 lakhs so similarly income of company a in the year 2011 is also 84 lakhs understood or not so both the year the company a income is same that is equal which is 84 lakh so by giving the income value our target is to find what is the expenditure in the year 2007 and 2011 so we need to find what is the difference in the expenditure so when just here in the initial that is in lesson number one i have told you right how to find the values in a shortcut if income value has been given and the profit percentage has been given how to find the expenditure or else by giving by giving the expenditure value and the profit value how to find the income so i have taught the same question in a traditional method as well as by a shortcut method in lesson number one a similar concept here we know the income of the company right as well as according to the chart where the profit percentage has been given yes or no just see here where company a in the year 2007 so what is the profit of company a which is 40 percentage so 40 percentage will be the profit of company a in the year 2007 so what you can do here is so income we know that income is how much 84 lakh and the profit percentage of company A in 2007 is how much? 40 percentage. So now our target is to find the expenditure. How will you find? I have told you the shortcut, right? So profit is how much? 40 percentage. So that can be written as 40 by 100. Cancel it by 2 table. So when you cancel it by 2 table, this becomes 2 by 5. So the meaning here is out of 5 part, 2 part is the profit. Understood or not? So the base value will be the expenditure all the stuff i have told you in the lesson number one and the numerator value will be the profit 
So now what is our target? Our target is to find the expenditure. So expenditure is how much? 5. So our target is to find the expenditure that is X. So we know that income is how much? 84 lakh. So expenditure plus profit will be the income. So 5 plus 2, 7 will be the income. So 7 is equals to income how much? 84 lakh. So now we need to find what is the value of X. So we can cancel it. So this become 12 times. So X is equal to 5 into 12. So X is equal to 60 lakh. Finally, we can say that answer for it's not the answer, right? It's the expenditure, right? Expenditure of the company A in the year 2007 will be 60 lakh. So similarly, our target is to find the second year that is for 2011. 2011. So 2011 where the income is same right so income of the company is how much 84 lakh so similarly profit percentage so according to the chart so 2011 where company a profit is 20 percentage so our target is to find what is the expenditure so you can write the formula profit percentage can be written as 20 by 100 so cancel 0 is 0 here cancel it by two table this becomes 1 by 5 so the meaning here is out of five part, one part is the profit. So five part will be the expenditure and one will be the profit. So our target is to find what expenditure. So five part expenditure is equal to X income. So five plus one will be income. So five plus one, six is equals to six will be the income, which is 84 lakh. So now we need to cross multiply it. I think we can cancel it one, six, or six. So two times 24. So... 6 4s are 24 right so 4 so this becomes 70 so x is equal to 70 lakh so finally we can say that the company a the profit that is expenditure of company a in the year 2011 will be 70 lakh and 2007 will be 60 lakh our target is to find the difference so difference of 60 lakh and 70 lakh will be 10 lakh so 10 lakh will be the answer for question number 3 so friends understood or not very simple and very easy where the all these stuff we have learned in the lesson number one itself. So lesson number one, we have learned the introduction about income expenditure. And then I have solved three questions. And the three question, the second question alone, I have solved by a traditional method as well as by a shortcut method. Yes, by giving income value and profit percentage how to find the expenditure. Or else by giving the expenditure value, profit percentage, how to find the income. So everything is same. Yet I can give you one question as a Omer question. There I can give you the expenditure value. So in this homework question, expenditure value has been given. Our target is to find what is the income. So everything is same what we learnt here. You can solve the same question by a shortcut also. The same shortcut. That's it. So that's it about this video friends. Very small video but the concepts that we learnt in the video are more. Right? The first question concept is important and the second question what value you need to write in the denominator is important and that these two questions are more important by giving income and the profit percentage how to find the expenditure or by giving expenditure and profit how to find the income even though they have given a loss value income and loss value everything is same in terms of post profit you have to write the loss value that's it everything will be same so the concepts are more important that's it I hope you understood the concept here. So I think we can solve a set number 3, set number 4, 5, 6. We can solve some medium to difficult level questions so that you can be very much strong on all these concepts. So that's it about this video friends. So thank you so much for watching this video. Share the video to your friends. Those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.